Today, we're going to be doing exercise 10.6, Minty Front. Essentially, what we want to do is uh, find a minimum value and move it to the front of the list. Um, it's, a very simple, it's a very simple problem. Now, our strategy to, do it, to uh, answering this problem is that first, we need to find a, a minimum value. Uh, we'll just loop through the array list, very simple. And then we will um, just move it, we'll remove it from the list first. And then we will move it to the front. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to make our method. Uh, there are no returns in this um, problem, so it's going to be void. And then our method name should be min to front. And then finally, we're taking our array list of integers this time. Um, I guess we'll just call a list. Okay, so the first thing we need to we need are the minimum value, but also the index of the minimum value so we can remove it later. So um, I'm going to have an in min value and we're going to send it to the most, the maximum integer value possible because that way, whatever is in the list is probably going to be smaller than the integer.max value. So I'm going to set it to integer.max value as like a placeholder for now. Um, and then our index. Uh, it doesn't really matter what this is. I'm, I'm gonna put it at zero, um, but yeah, it's gonna be the index of our minimum value. So we're going to uh, loop through the list. And then um, inside the list, we're mainly checking two things. We're checking if, or actually we're checking only one thing. It's, we're just checking if um, the current value is smaller than our stored min value. So let's do that. If min, or rather if let's.get i is less than min, then it must be um, it must be stored as the new min. So we'll be doing min equals list.get i, and then we will be saying the index equal to i. So now we have our minimum value and we have our index. Um, we don't really need the minimum value at this point anymore, um, but we do need an index because we need to remove the, because we need to remove the minimum value and then add it to the front of the list. So we're going to list.add zero because it's the start of the list. And then we're going to remove our value. Um, we will be removing the value at the index index. And that should be it. Uh, let's just run our code. And as you can see, we passed all five tests. Um, we're done with the problem.